Caution. You are about to enter the no spin zone. It is the end of an era here at the Fox News Channel. Bill O'Reilly, who hosted this program for 20 years, is leaving the Fox News Channel. Now, Fox issued an official statement this afternoon on O'Reilly's dismissal. I think they just took the Roger Ailes statement and changed the nouns. <laughs> they are trapped in a former time, in another era, in a time when women were beautiful ornaments in workplaces who got coffee and typed. Reports out tonight say that Fox News is now paying ousted talk show host Bill O'Reilly $25 million as part of a settlement to leave the network. O'Reilly tonight continues to deny staff allegations of sex abuse. So what are we to make of his firing? Here to give us an assessment is defense attorney and former prosecutor Debbie Hines. Debbie, nice seeing you again. Same here, Bruce. What, what, what do you make of all this? He's out. Reports are they paid $25 million. Why did it take so long? That's my question. Well, you know, honestly, for a major corporation like Fox News Corporation, it's really, unfortunately, just the cost of doing business for them. It's not like they didn't know. They've already paid out allegedly $13 million to several women um, that had brought up allegations, and they renewed his contract in March, something I thought they, which they hadn't done now, but they renewed his contract in March, and they had what's called an out clause, although we don't know specifically what it said, that probably gave them somewhat of an out based on the fact that they could just, you know, um, drop his contract the way they did, and he pretty much agreed to it, so. Okay, that's the le legal inside stuff. I got all that. One of my questions, though, is what does all this mean? What's the message we're to take from this? The message that I take is that we really, in reality, have not come that far since the days of Anita Hill. And that was back in the 1990s when the sexual harassment and sexual discrimination in the workplace was just getting out there with um, Clarence Thomas. And it really hasn't changed. And when you look at statistics and the polls by women, that's pretty much what it shows, that the attitude really hasn't changed. And as you say, boys will be boys or whatever the saying is, that's still going on today. So, so people run businesses, whether be news organizations or whatever, law firms or whatever, they, they don't look at this and say, we've got to look within at what we're doing, how, how women are being treated, how everybody's being treated. Our managers, are they doing their jobs? Are they watching? Do we need to retrain some people? None of oh, absolutely. We need to retrain people. But I think you have to look at it as the higher up the corporation is versus if it's a mom and pop shop, it can basically take them out of business if one of their employees files a sexual harassment claim against them and does and is successful in terms of getting a settlement or getting money. But when you're talking about major corporations, that's just a whole different area. And the message is we're just going to do business as usual. The thing that jumps out at me is that advertisers, sponsors started yes. jumping off. We, want, we don't want anything to do with that show. Why is that? Is it because they were feeling the heat? Exactly, exactly. And that's how Bill O'Reilly got out because it was a cost of doing business for him to stay. I mean, he was making tons of money for the network. So there wasn't any- And viewership was yes, up. Yes, and it was up and continued to be even higher in light of his sexual, you know, allegations against him. But once the View and once the ads start drying up, and I don't remember if it was 35 or 50 or what the exact number was, once that happened, then they're just assessing just the cost of doing business and finding out no way they can keep him. You and I have both been around a long time. Uh, I, I, I suspect Bill O'Reilly is not done. He has still got a big constituency out there, and he will reemerge somewhere else. I suspect we might be seeing Bill O'Reilly in the near future, if not on another network, but perhaps on talk radio. I mean, he has a tremendous following, and I don't think that his replacement is going to have that same type of following that Bill O'Reilly has. So Bill O'Reilly really for somewhere out there, whether it's radio or another TV uh, network, he is really a cash cow for someone. And despite what he's done, it's going to be business as usual. Well, the irony here is when all else fails, you can always blame it on the media. You know, they, 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 they drum me out of town. They drum me off the air. But he'll be back. That's a hard sell based on the allegations. But that's what he's going to basically probably say, that he just amicably separated from them. They didn't fire him. They came to an agreement, and he got his 25 mil. So 